All right, so a group of friends decide to go out Friday night. And Friday night comes along, and they decide to meet at a restaurant. Uh, they get to the restaurant, have dinner, a few drinks. Uh, later on, they decide <coughs> they're going to go out to a nightclub. The dance club. Um, they get to the they get to the dance club later on the day, Friday night, and the girl decides, you know, I'm going to stop drinking about 10 o'clock. <coughs> I need to leave at midnight, so I'm going to make sure I drive home so you can see me. Midnight comes, she tells all her friends goodbye. She heads out to the parking garage where her car is. She gets to the elevator, goes up the elevator uh, to the third floor. Gets out, goes to her, starts walking toward her car. It's a gentleman walking toward her. Uh, Normal looking guy, casual dress, nothing to really worry about. As the guy walks past her, as soon as he gets past her, he turns around, puts her in a chokehold. Um, drags her over to the car. She can't scream very loud because she's getting choked pretty well. Fortunately, the guy only wanted to get her purse. Finally got her purse and took off. Um, the point of my story is I'm going to explain to you guys how to obtain a concealed weapons permit. Um, the main, I, re, I received my first permit back in 1998, and I felt much more protected. Um, guns aren't for everybody. You gotta be the right person. Um, the, uh, the main point I'm going to go over is where you can take a course, um, where you get your application, um, training requirements, fingerprint requirements, background requirements. Um, so we'll start out with the course. Uh, if you live in Ada County, um, they have se several different courses, several different instructors. Um, most of the courses are taking the impact gun range. Executive in Boise. If you live in a different county, you need to go to your county um, sheriff's office and they'll direct you somewhere closer. <coughs> uh, according to Randy Haney, which is a personal conversation we had last month, uh, he is one of the instructors. Uh, the course costs around $40, uh, depending on the instructor. Um, where you go to fill out the permit or the application actually after you get the course done, you get your certificate. Uh, once you get your certificate, you can go to any local DMV. They have a specific place just for concealed weapons and that. Uh, <clears throat> you go there, you fill out the application. For example, over here. Uh, it takes about 90 days longer if anything's red flagged. It's a pretty thorough uh, background check. Uh, one of the radio uh, police detectives, Tony Ford, um, and I talked to him a couple of years ago, uh, stated that Idaho's requirements for every applicant to go through an extensive background check, and they said it would take up to 90 days. Um, you have to be 21 years of age uh, to check your criminal background, do an internet check, do a resident check, motor vehicle check, and a fingerprint check. <coughs> um, as I said before, you know, guns aren't for everybody. Um, some are for guns. Um, there's different methods. There's different things you can do. There's different self-defense classes you can take if you don't like guns. <coughs> I'm just kind of informing people on one way be able to do it. Like I said, you have to be the right person. Uh, <clears throat> um, we get to the training requirements of that class. Um, the state requires at least a four-hour training class. Um, those objectives for that course are handgun safety and handling, 
personal protection, use of force, and firearms in the law. You can also pull up, uh, I think it's Title Three, Section 30, uh, Idaho State website, tells you all the laws. So we've ran through the steps and how to do the application process of getting one. Um, we ran through the courses you have to take, um, we ran through the application where you fill it out, um, training requirements and background require, uh, requirements. And, um, Once you get it, you get, it's just like a, it's an official Idaho State license. Um, click on the next one. <coughs> just something like the kind. To me, the block, I know you use the best one to carry for um, If you don't like deadly force weapons, um, carrying some of the bigger taser guns, um, they're not, you can't kill something. I mean, you can't, but if you don't want to carry something like these are a good option, especially for ladies. <coughs> There's other things you can carry. You can carry knives if you're in combat. Um, if you're into ninja stuff, I guess you can carry Chinese stars. There's quite a bit of different weapons, and like I said, uh, there's a lot of self uh, defense classes out there for it. So, uh, sum this up. They said we went over how to obtain the license, where you can get it from, and a little bit about their training requirements and background. So, uh, I hope if anybody's considering to get one, or if they've thought about it, you're definitely, uh, I hope I've been fine.